all our research is really focused on, on sort of translational challenges that are that the world are facing things like you know antimicrobial resistance use of drugs in elderly patients um, psychiatric prescribing developing novel systems for delivering drugs Practice research does differ quite markedly from the other research that goes on in the school. We're not lab-based, but we use a very wide range of methods and techniques in order to improve medicines use. We know that medicines are the most widely used type of medical intervention, so therefore we want to make sure that when a patient receives a medicine, that it's the right medicine, that they know how to use it, that they know how to take it, and they are getting the best possible outcomes from that medicine. So my research group um, is dealing with molecular assembly and recognition. We're spanning fields of, of, of physical chemistry, physical pharmaceutics and physics themselves. Our interests are in bacterial biofilms, which are essentially bacteria that grow on surfaces. Understanding how to effectively manage infections is key to preserving our effective arsenal of antibiotics, but also to understand how uh, resistance emerges within those populations. What bacteria are present in the airways of patients with chronic infections such as cystic fibrosis? Our aim is to try and figure out what these bacteria are actually all doing. Do they contribute to disease? Do they contribute um, potentially to a protective effect within the airways? You can have the most effective drug in the world, but if you can't deliver it to where it needs to go, there's absolutely no point in having that drug in the first place. So sometimes it's not always about the drug, it's about the delivery system to take the drug to where it needs to go. Our research focuses on the design, production and evaluation of novel microarray patches. Such patches have on their surface hundreds or thousands of tiny needles that painlessly and without drawing blood penetrate the outermost layer of the skin. And that, for the first time, allows us to deliver all sorts of different medicines and vaccines into the viable skin layer. We work with delivery systems that are 10,000 times smaller than a human hair. So the aim of the nanomedicine is really to increase the therapeutic efficacy and reduce side effects and increase selectivity to the target tissue. What we have done is um, created these peptide systems that, that mimic viruses, but they're not actually viruses, and you add them to the drug and it takes the drug to where it needs to go. Even though we have individual research themes, they're really there's a lot of overlap between them and a lot of staff um, are working across two, three, four research themes. We have a keen focus on addressing global challenges in healthcare and improving the quality of life of people right across the world. So we always look to where might this be of patient benefit rather than simply asking academic questions for the, for the sake of it. From bench to bedside, you know, from the basic science to actually translating it to patients and actually improving um, health and quality of life for patients.